Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play and Initial Impressions review for, I believe it's pronounced Ayaido? It's I-A-I-D-O VR, a game that was released on the Steam Store on December 26th, 2022. It normally retails for $13. I received a free Steam key through the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game, it officially supports the Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. However, you might notice that it shows the HTC Vive controls, but not the Oculus Rift. So, I'm a little confused. Also, movement is a little odd. I, I'm not sure what, what I would call this movement. It's definitely HTC Vive movement, though, for sure. Uh, this is a sword fighting... VR game, you know, there's several of those. Um, you know, if you just talk about combat, obviously, Blade and Sorcery, Hell Split Arena, The Swordsman, there, there is a ton of VR melee combat games, sword fighting games, and this is a little bit of a different take on it. Uh, first of all, this is how you block. At the start, it's obviously not very difficult to block. Um, and I took some damage there just because I was trying to do a special sword attack, which is probably the most difficult part. I'm still not 100% sure on how it works, but I do know that it's you ha as soon as you put the mark up, you have to unsheathe your swords very quickly for it to activate. So I think that's what I figured out. I'm not 100% positive on that, but I think that's how it's working. And, but you see, oh, the blocks are actually super easy. It's just using my ability. That's the hard part. So let me see if I can do this. So you see I am using special abilities, but it's taking me several tries and sometimes I pick up my little health canister here. You only have one, so don't try to use the health right away. Save it for when you're taking quite a bit of damage. But other than that, you know, I usually have my meter all the way up. It's not That's not usually the hard part. The hard part is trying to... As you see, I failed yet again. <laughs> I don't know why. And as you see, blocking is really not that difficult. So you see, I did lots of, of those uh, type, special type of attacks. I better watch out for this guy here. I don't want him to gank me from, from behind. And you see, he's really no threat. And he's dead. Yeah, the hardest part for me is actually activating the special ability. Let's see if I can do it right here real quick. Yeah, that was really quick. So, you know, once you activate the special ability, they're really easy to kill really fast. So you want to use your special ability and... Oh, come on. Wow, I didn't kill him? I thought I for sure that was gonna...
I seem to have un... I don't know if this is a bug. I seem to have unlimited power now. I don't know if I did something that gave me unlimited power or if this is a bug. I'm guessing this is a bug, though. There's no way this would be part of the gameplay. Yeah, I seem to have unlimited power right now, which makes e killing the enemies very easy. But this is basically the gameplay other than I have uh, unlimited power right now. Come on, you guys want some of this? Come on. Uh, are you guys going to attack or not? All right, cool, cool. Okay, okay well, let's see what happens. <laughs> That's supposed to kill him. I seem to have unlimited power. Uh, then you get to like these enemies and they throw stuff. Well, let me show you that. I'm not gonna try to, I'm gonna try not to kill them right away. It's hard to see, so this is the, it's really dark. But he, you see he's throwing those shooting stars at me, the kunai, but it's not really all that difficult to block. Uh, you do have to close distance. You do have locomotion, but it's very weird locomotion. I. I think this is like HTC Vive movement. Okay. okay. So again, there's just more of them now. I do think they have honor though. They don't. They don't try to gank you. They go one by one. So, so that's good. But you do still have to kill both of them. Come on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I do have to get closer though. There, he's dead. <laughs> There's just more enemies now again. But I, I, can, I just need to use my power. I did notice uh, frame rate drops there. Ooh, I'm all the way down to 45 frames per second. So optimization is not very good. Now that there's more enemies, my frame rates uh, took a severe drop. There was a severe drop there that I noticed. And I don't know, I think this is bugged. What do you guys think? I think this is bugged. I think that's bugged. Wow, I got extra money for that, all right. All right, come on, take your turn. Okay, hopefully that gets me. Oh wow, my finally my my mana bar finally went down. I don't know if I should drink health or not. Is that the end of the round? What happened? Did we win? What's going on? Are we supposed to go forward, backward? <sighs> I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I'm having difficulty moving. There, I do see this blue bar here. I don't know if that means something. Oh. 
Okay, we're on a rocket. <laughs> what? What's going on? Are we going to the second level? Ah, this is the plane level. Um, I think I've shown enough. Uh, maybe the game will work now, though. It did bug out, so maybe... I mean, if y'all wanted a ninja game, now we're on a freaking plane. Alright. All, all it needs is snakes now. Let's see, is this bugged out now? Ah, it, it's working now. The bar actually went down. Alright, cool. <laughs> but yeah, I can't recommend this game. Uh, I don't, this has a, a, all positive reviews, but I don't see how. So, I mean, that's that's all there is to the gameplay. It's been pe pretty repetitive. Um, I haven't been having fun, if I'm being honest. I, I, I think it's way too basic and clunky. This might have been fun, like, in back in 2016, 2017 VR, but this, there was much better melee for, for you guys. I mean, that was pretty cool, but there's no depth to this. This is, this is pretty dumb. The combat's way too basic. There, there's nothing to it, really. Other than this one trick pony. I mean, if you like this one trick pony, you never get tired of it. I don't think it's worth $13. This is more like a $2 VR game. Uh, it's way overpriced. It's not worth it. And uh, I don't recommend it. If I have to rate it, I give it a 4 out of 10. Um, there's very little here to like. I mean, if you just really like ninjas and want the hero fantasy and you're okay with repeating the same combat over and over and over again I guess this is a game for you but I haven't enjoyed it okay. anyways I'm Fast Lawyer this has been my Let's Play initial impression review for I, uh, Ido. and like I said I only give it a 4 out of 10 if you enjoyed my video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and as always have a wonderful day goodbye yeah, and I'm actually closing the video and blocking at the same time. That's how boring it is.